So River is our caboose. We have one girl and two boys, and he was our third, and he loved going super fast, loved climbing things that he shouldn't climb, was always dancing and always making us laugh. Always, we, we always kind of said he was the mediator between our, our little girl and our, our other little boy. If they were fighting, he was always the one coming in and being the little comedian to, to make them laugh and kind of diffuse the situation. On the night of June 4th, 2019, we had a tragic accident in our home. He was outside playing with his brother and sister and somehow found his way into our locked pool gate. So he was transferred to Dell Children's where we spent the next three days with him in the hospital. They never made us feel like a number, you know? And one of the main things we talk about was that whenever we knew that River wasn't gonna make it, we knew that his spirit was already in heaven, but they were talking to him like he was still there. So yeah. they would have to move wires and move him around and they would whisper in his ear and they would say, okay, buddy, we're about to move you. We're about to roll you over. Even though we knew he couldn't hear Keeping him warm. Keeping him blankets. warm and just... When he was, you know, clinically, he didn't have any brain activity. And so there was no reason that a human being should think when you're looking medically at this child that there would be any kind of understanding of the world. And, but they treated him like he did. They talked to him. They kept him warm. Um, they were so gentle, so gentle with every yeah. movement of his arm and his yeah. wires. and. You would think, you know, these doctors and nurses, they see this every day. This is their, this is their, what they have to face every day. And you would think at a, at a certain point you might become numb to it. But they cried with us. They, they sat there and they cried with us and they hugged us. And it meant something so much to us. Yeah. You could never move on from something like that, but you have to take one step at a time. And it would have been a lot more difficult to take those steps if we hadn't have felt that, that humanity love and return that, that you gave us and, and our son. And Amber, she just spoke up during a kind of a, a quiet, one of the many quiet hours when she said, I want to donate his organs. And um, mm. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. It hadn't, it hadn't occurred to me. It um, wasn't something that we had talked about. No, it wasn't something that we had planned out. and that made him, River, even more of a hero that he already was as, a, as a, an example to so many. I just felt that if we, if we couldn't take him home, you know, he's, he's perfect. Everything in his little body was perfect. I just wanted to be some sort of hope for somebody else if, if we couldn't bring our son home. I wanted somebody else to be able to take their kid or adult home from the hospital. Yeah. So that gives us meaning and purpose moving forward. That helps us go forward and know that his little life is still living on, not only physically, but just through the story and just sharing his love. He still lives, he's still so alive today. I had already recorded a song called Heaven Bound Balloons I saw them one month before the accident and um, so River knew the song, his brother and sister were both in the music video. And ironically, when we filmed the music video, we put the two older kids and we didn't put River. And it was about, uh, it was about writing a note on a balloon, a simple idea of writing a note on a balloon and, and letting it go up into the sky. And, and it was a message to heaven, a message to anyone. It was, and it was an act of healing through writing down the thoughts and, and sending them up and, and watching it disappear into the sky. and That quickly became the song uh, for us and for River and for his siblings. And it became a, a symbol for us that wherever we saw a red balloon, we thought about River. And then people started uh, you know, showing up with red balloons around us and people were using that for their own stories. And uh, it meant a lot to me. Yeah, so we're an apparel company. So the best thing we could do would be to create a t-shirt design and sell that t-shirt with all the proceeds going to the hospital. And the community really stepped up. I think a lot of people um, heard our story and heard that message 
I mean, we thought we might sell a couple hundred or something, and it, it just, it was, a two, it was, it was over Over a quarter million dollars came from that t-shirt just in a, in a week or so that we were able to give right back to Dell Children's. And that was, that was the next step in our healing, and it was the next um, fulfillment of his legacy for us, to be able to pay back to the people that did so much for us. We saw every single thing that you guys did for our son, and we will be forever grateful in our hearts for the way that you took care of him, and the way you took care of us, and the way you took care of our family. And I don't know how you do what you do, but I'm so, so grateful. And I have, on the worst days of our lives, I have such good memories of yeah. care and hope and a positive view of that hospital when it could have been so negative. And you, just... you guys were the light in our darkest time. <laughs>